morning. It's Greg Judy and Green Pastures Farm. This morning uh, we're moving our herd of bulls. Uh, we've got 47 South Pole yearling bulls here. There's a few two-year-olds two in here and one a little bit older. Um, what we're doing here is we're doing a fan shape. We started in the center of the bottom and we're moving our wire as we go across this paddock. You can see the graze line right here. So I'm getting ready to roll this wire up. And you know, people say, well, I don't want to go out and do all that it's too much work you know getting the cattle up and chasing them and getting dogs on them and cowboying them up you don't have to do that once they get broke and these animals are really well broke uh, all you got to do is roll this wire up uh, one thing that we're <clears throat> we are looking at is you know when you, when you walk them into the paddock i'm going to show you you can roll that wire up and just let them all run in or you can let them in a little at a time and hopefully I can show you that uh, with this wire I'm getting ready to give in their paddock get right in front of you. I'm just going to roll it up about maybe 20 feet and let a few at a time come in. And then we'll take the whole wire up. But the reason you can, you can check the uh, status of your animals. So if you have a big herd, you want to position yourself on the left side. So you can observe as they go through to see if anything's got sunken in sides on them. We call that the death triangle. And you've got one limping or, or whatever. Or maybe if you're calving, you might have one at the very rear. It's got a foot sticking out or something. You need to d deal with that. Um, but it's really nice to be able to let a few in rather than just let them go charging in the paddock. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to uh, grab the reel here, and we're going to move this set of bowls into this new sword of grass. They've got about um, probably three and a half, four acres today. And we've got two more strips in here we're going to give, and then we're going to go the other direction. So <clears throat> we're going to get quite a few moves and we're not moving the water the water is stationary behind them we don't have the flexibility of moving it up through this bottom we just got one water point but let's see how these cattle move so this is a geared reel three to one every time I turn it it spins three times Now they're all through there, you can go ahead and roll up your wire and we'll just give them this whole strip because their water's back here. You can't put in a back fence. Here comes the old bolt. That's a wrap.